Hey everybody. As we continue to go through this season of challenge, I think it's really important that we go through it with a sense of purpose. Like if we just resist what's happening and grumble about what's happening and are worried about what's happening, we're going to have a hard time going through what's happening. But we can embrace this time with a sense of purpose of, God, show me what you're doing. Show me how you want to strengthen me. Then not only are we going to be able to get through this time, but I think we're going to come out of it on the other side even stronger than we were before. And so what is it that God has for us? What is his purposes that he could possibly be doing during this time? And I, I think there's a variety of things, but I think one of them is given to us really clearly in Romans chapter 10, verses 13 through 15. It says this, starts the great promise. For everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. How beautiful is that? Like we are saved simply by calling on Jesus. Jesus, I believe in you. I confess that I'm a sinner and I believe that you're the Lord. Like, you know, take my life. Like we just call on the name of the Lord and, and we're saved. That's, that's how we're saved. What a beautiful promise. But then watch verse 14 and 15. How then will they call on him in whom they've not believed? And how are they to believe in him of whom they've never heard? And they, how are they to hear without someone preaching? And how are they to preach unless they're sent? As it's written, how beautiful are the feet of those who preach the good news. You know, we miss this connection sometimes. We're like, man, it's a beautiful promise that, like, we can be saved by calling on the name of God. But then, you know, Paul goes on to write, well, how are people going to be able to call on the name of God if they don't believe in him? And how are they going to come to believe in him if no one tells them about him? And so what he's saying is that, like, the way that people come to believe in God is through other people telling them about who this great and awesome God is. And, and notice it says, how beautiful are the feet of those who preach the good news. Meaning that like that this, this preaching requires going. It's not just waiting for people to come. It's no, I'm going to get on my feet and I'm going to go and I'm going to take the message to them. You know, I think this time that we're going through right now is really given all of us uh, a tremendous opportunity to reset our lives and, and redetermine some priorities. And I think one of the priorities has to be a commitment to telling people about Jesus Christ. Like in the past, maybe you could have been like, well, you know, maybe they'll come to church one day. Or, you know, this church has this outreach program and maybe that will reach them. Well, well, that day's gone. Like, like you know, no one is coming into our church building these days because our church building's closed. You know, no one's like stumbling by and be like, hey, let me go check out that church service. It's not happening. There's no church service they can come to. You know, there's no outreach programs. Like, that's been completely shut down. The only way during this season that people are going to hear about Jesus is if other people tell them about Jesus. Right? God has always been about using people to reach people. But I think, sadly, it's become very easy for many of us to rely more on programs to take care of that responsibility that we should be carrying ourselves. And so I think it's an awesome opportunity for us just to hit a reset and to think about, okay, who am I bringing the good news to? Like, who am I going to? You know, and obviously we can't go necessarily in person, uh, but man, we can send a text message to someone and say, hey, listen, how can I be praying for you? I can't tell you how many amazing conversations I've gotten in just in these past two months by asking that simple question, how can I pray for you? And people come back to me like, oh, you know, I'm doing good, don't worry. It's like, no, I'm praying for you anyways, Please let me know what I can specifically be praying for. And man, when I go to that and ask for specific things, that has just led to tremendous opportunities to tell people about Jesus. You know, and then and then it's also been really easy. Like never before has there been more gospel content being put out. You know, I mean, I'm, te I'm sending people links to daily devotionals I'm doing. I'm sending them links to, to, to our church service. Like it, it's never been easier to say, hey, listen, like I care about you. I love you. I think you'd really benefit from this. And to kind of take the gospel to them that way. And then to follow up and ask a question. Hey, what did you think? I'd love to talk to you about it. Let's get a phone call. Let's get on, you know, FaceTime. You know, let's do a Zoom call. Like all the different ways that we can connect, you know, nowadays. So I think we have a tremendous opportunity right now, if we would embrace it, to go through this time with a sense of purpose. That we have been sent by God to reach people who God loves. Who God wants to see come to know him. You know, he could write it in, in the stars in space, but instead he's chosen to use me and you. And so I think it's an awesome opportunity for us to get back to the church being the church. And the church not being like a bunch of programs, 
that people go to, but rather the church being people who are living with a purpose to bring the good news of Jesus to a lost and dying world that desperately needs to hear it. And so I pray you'd embrace this season with a sense of purpose. I pray that you'll be thinking about family and friends and neighbors and coworkers who you can be reaching out to. Let's get the message of Jesus out. Let's like as many, you know, gospel content messages as we can. You know, a simple like on, on a Facebook or an Instagram post or Twitter. Man, that just gets the message out even more. Let's like, let's share, let's send links, and then let's follow up with a personal touch of asking people what they think and praying for them in specific ways. God is doing incredible things during this time. I mean, the stories are of testimonies are just pouring in. And I hope that we all get excited and want to be used by God during this season. And if we are, then I think, man, when we get out of this time, we're going to be even stronger than when we came in it before. I hope that encouraged you. Look forward to seeing you again tomorrow with another Daily Devotional. God bless.